Fine. All right, declutter your surroundings to free up space in your heart and mind. Mm -hmm. And we're talking right back with uh, professional organizer Christina Giaquinto. She's joining us with more organizing tips and how to refresh. Where are you your based life. now? Where, where do you live? What area? I, I live in Nashville right now, but I'm kind of between New Jersey and Nashville. Okay. I kind of live in both places right now. <laughs> you know, you've been uh, cleaning and organizing professionally for many years. Why is it so important for people to actually keep their homes and their cars and their whole life clean and organized? Why do we have so much junk? <laughs> yeah, that is that is the life question we're all trying to solve, right? Uh, I really, truly believe. I mean, I, I just I've seen it so many times, but it directly affects our our mood for the day, yes. our stress mm -hmm. levels, which then you know it's a trajectory for everything else. How we respond to the people in our life, our partners, uh, at work, right? So it just it really is a, a foundation for how we feel inside, uh, and I really think that that just affects everything else in our life. And what are some mistakes that people make when it comes to organizing or cleaning and how can we all avoid them? Because for some people, it can be a bit overwhelming looking at the pile of clothes just sitting mm -hmm. there for for weeks sometimes. Absolutely. Uh, I think number one, you do not have to throw everything away. As soon as I say the word declutter, a lot of times people think that they just they have to go through their whole house and throw everything away. That is not the intention. We're trying to be conscious of the items that we have in our home. So that would be number one. Just throw that out the window. Number two, when you are decluttering and organizing a space, my number one tip for that is or the mistake that people make is they they just go in and, and they start. And I applaud that, you know going after it but what you really need to do is empty out the whole space we want to start with a blank canvas so take mm. out everything it should be completely bare nothing in there and then start the process from that space where well, we're gonna put it in bins <laughs> so I always use um, try to use a, another room in the house so for example if you were going to do um, the kitchen right okay we want to use uh, like a, the, the counter space or the dining room just temporarily so that we can create the piles and the Wait, categories. What's so temporarily? <laughs> like months? Because we're going to commit to actually getting this done. <laughs> so we don't want to create more yeah. clutter. We want to commit to these projects and, um, and, and get them done. And that's a big thing with going into the fall and the end of the year. I always say pick, you know, pick one to two projects that you want to get done mm. for, before the new year. Just let's really commit to that and, and get those done. I think that's the biggest thing because we have it in our head that we need to get the whole house done. And if we really just commit to one to two projects for the end of the year, that's a huge accomplishment. And that in itself is getting organized. Right. And it, it'll motivate you to, to, to do the next project of cleaning. Well, I know when you when you do stuff like that, it's a big, you know, weight off your shoulders and you feel better. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And I'm nicer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, you are. It affects everything. It really is. It affects your stress level and in how you react to people so much. That's why it's so important. It's not just the physical, right? That's a huge component, the the system of it, the practical component of it, but it really is so much more to that. It's our it's our mood and, and how we feel about the day and things like that. And I will say, going into the fall season, one of the biggest things I say, just another kind of quote unquote mistake that people make is they keep everything for garage sales and i am a I, <laughs> so I, I think they're great so i'm a huge proponent of it make some extra money bring the family together the neighborhood but put it in the calendar mm. if for some reason that garage sale does not happen okay. please Go donate the donate. items. Do not wait until 2023. And then two, if you have the garage sale, I hope it goes wonderfully, but um, whatever doesn't sell that day, mm -hmm. put it right in the car right after, right after and go donate it to the local center. All right. <laughs> now, before we let you go quickly, do you have any any favorite products or something that is a must have when it comes to you know getting cleaning. things cleaning yeah. or organizing? Yeah. Anything you like to use in particular? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I I put my whole name to modular closets for a reason. I truly do, you know, believe in this product uh, and this company so much. For years, I searched for uh, a closet system for my clients that was of great quality, but also affordable, easy to install. And so that's really, you know, why I've aligned myself with this company, because at the end of the day, we have to look at the foundation of your space. And if, if your closet does not have a system in place, mm -hmm. there's only so much that you can do with it, truly. I mean, if it's just bare or there's one rod, 
there's only so much that you can organize with it. So it's very, very important to have a closet system in place so that you can bring your organizing vision to life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think modular cool. closet is Jordan, my number one. Jordan product. was looking for like products like, yeah, you know, products, sprays. Uh, mirror cleaners, window cleaners, or if you have a favorite. Yeah, my favorite is invisible glass <laughs> for the mirror. Yes, no, 100%. Uh, I mean, I, I, I like personally, I, I've used method before or things like that. A lot of times oh. just like soap and water, honestly. Again, I simplify everything. I try not to overcomplicate it. Um, yeah. But yeah, those are a few of my favorite things. Also for drawers, uh, in terms of organizing products, uh, drawer uh, compartments and dividers are a huge, huge thing. Um, so that's always my go-to as well. All right. Especially in the uh, with the socks and the underwear, keep yeah. it separate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Christina, again, her website is on the screen right there if you'd like to learn more of her helpful organizing and cleaning tips. So yeah. let's get Thank it done. Thank you so much. Let's get it done. Thank you. Come Thank visit you us again. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. All right, good stuff. We need to have her on more often. I know. To remind us. Clean like me either clean it or you gotta go right no good yeah because good day's not having a garage sale anytime soon right not that i know of. one time we had a good day sale oh when we left the old station oh mm. we might have to do one people soon. bought pieces of the set oh god the it. old set i wonder where it is now <laughs>